Okay, this is my husband who passed away, his 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee with a V8 engine that he's owned since day one. He put new headlights on it, new tires, I'm sorry they're in mud. I just got it started with a new battery, but it's not going. Um, I must have not let it charge enough, so it's been sitting for a few months. But I was making this video mainly because I had given him, it doesn't have heated seats, this car came from Texas. So there is also, um, uh, it's rear wheel drive. But he loved this car, it has only 280, 280,000 miles on it. <laughs> But I wanted to show you, I've been struggling with how to remove the headrest, and I know there's lots of videos on it, but it's really not as complicated if you know what you're doing. So I thought I would just show you what I did. I was removing these sheepskins that I had given them after moving to cold Maryland. And um, I got all these tools here, but it turns out I don't need them. So, there's two tabs, one here, and very hidden, one here. And if you push in on that one, and this one, at the same time, this will pop up. So, that's what I did. Now, probably holding this, I'm not going to be able to do it, but you can see the sheepskin and my dilemma in trying to remove this. So, underneath here, let me see if I can just like this. That will work. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so there's a tab here, and I'm pushing with my thumbnail, and voila. That's how simple it was. So, okay, I hope you saw that. But now the headrest is removed. I got the sheepskin off because I'm not selling it with the sheepskins. <laughs> I think they came from a Mercedes, but anyway. So if you're interested in the car, I'm probably going to let it go for $2,500. My husband loved this car. The V8, the engine sounded really strong, though I will say it's leaking oil. And, and it's not burning it, but it's leaking it. So I think it needs a valve cover gasket. You are welcome to contact me at Bavarian Motorsport, where I'm a salesperson, and that number is 610-444-2222, and my name is Suzanne. Thanks.